thousand shillings and pence actually made sense. This is quite an assertion. A lot of people think that the old money, the old British money of pounds, shillings and pence was actually quite bizarre. But it was around for, I, I would say, nearly a thousand years. So I think I can give some examples of how easy it was to use the old money. So let's get started. And I'm going to give some examples of buying eggs and buying beer. It will become clear. First off, let's have a look. This is possibly a 1971 price from what I could research. You could buy an egg for five pence each. Yes, well, I know these days you probably only buy them in dozens or half dozens. But you could actually go to a grocer's and just buy one. So, if they were five pence each, how much for a dozen? Well, all we had to do was change the pennies to shillings. 12 pennies in a shilling, that's a dozen. So, five pence each, five shillings a dozen. That was simple, wasn't it? What about half a dozen? Same process. Change the pennies to shillings, get a dozen. And then guess what? Halve it. Six eggs, two shillings and six months which is half of five shillings. What about 24? Perhaps you're going to make a cake, big cake. You need lots of eggs. Okay, five minutes each. What should we do? Change pennies to shillings, double it. So five pence each, a dozen would be five shillings. And for two dozen, 24, 10 shillings. Let's go on to beer. I've got a price list. This price list was in the sample room of the Young's Brewery in Wandsworth. And it said it were prices from July 1966. Special Bitter, SPA, was one shilling, one and a half pence for half a pint. So, how much are four pints? double it to get the pint. So a shilling times two is two shillings, one and, one and a half pence, three opence, you might want to call it. Doubled is threepence. Two shillings and threepence for a pint of special. This was in 1966. So what do we do to get four pints? Multiply by four. Four twos are eight, eight shillings. Four threepence is, is twelve pence. So you add the shilling to the eight shillings and you get nine shillings. So four pints of special in 1966 was nine shillings. What about you were putting up some money behind the bar for 20 pints? Not to be drunk all at once, but perhaps you're, you're having a party and you're, you're going to celebrate by buying loads of people browns. So 20 pints. Two shillings and threepence a pint. We know that now from what we did earlier. Change the shillings to pounds. Two shillings is now two pounds. And 20 times three is 60 pence. We know our 12 times table. Five times 12 is 60. So that's five shillings. So 20 pints were special in 1966 came to two pounds and five shillings. Bear in mind this was probably quite close to a person's weekly wage. So it's not, not a, a minor thing. Anyway, you might be thinking thus far, assuming you've stayed thus far, that these examples are contrived and simple. So let's look at something a bit more complicated. Here's an advert from 1960 from the company called Home Radio, which sold televisions and radio at the time. And this has various prices for rentals, for television rentals. I particularly like the bit where it says you get free legs. Anyway, so let's choose a no deposit set, 17 inch, six shillings and six months a week. How much would it cost to rent that for six months? And the, re the reason I'm suggesting we calculate it for six months is it does actually say the minimum rental period was six months. So the first task is to start splitting up the numbers that we require. Now, six months is the minimum rental period. 
six months is half a year, 52 weeks in a year, therefore we need to calculate for 26 weeks. So if we break that up into two numbers, 20 and 6, which makes 26, we can then see that we can use 20 times 6 shillings is 6 pounds. No calculation needed there. And 6 times 6 shillings is 36 shillings. And we take 20 from 36 to leave 16, so 36 shillings was 1 pound and 16 shillings. So we now need to add up that 6 pounds and that 1 pound 16 shillings, which gives us 7 pounds 16 shillings. But remember, this was the calculation only for one part of the weekly sum. This was for the calculation of the 6 shillings times 26. So now we need to apply 26 to sixpences. Now, sixpence is half a shilling. So if we need to find out 26 halves of a shilling, then that's half 26, which is 13 shillings. So now let's add in the £7.16 shillings we had for the shillings component of the six shillings and six months weekly rental. Add that to the 13 shillings, which gives us £7.29 shillings. So we need to take 20 off the 29 and carry it over to the 7. And our answer is £8.09. shillings. That's how much it would cost over a six month period, the minimum rental period, at six shillings and six months per week. That wasn't too hard, was it? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's very unlikely that anyone got it this far because most people go, oh my God, arithmetic. Oh my God, old money. <sighs> Press the like button. I'm not expecting anyone to like this. And subscribe for more if you can. Bye.